so we have seen now uh, on defining contract uh, record types and page layouts if and uh, we did assignment of it so what has happened master is left already by default any object for which you are not additionally defining any record type or page layout they by default have the standard uh, record type called master record type and one standard layout which is actually named uh, with that object layout generally if, uh, for opportunity it will be opportunity layout to show you that again we are going into setup and what customize then opportunities and if you see in page layouts page layouts okay sorry yeah opportunity and these are the cycle oriented objects so they have got certain layouts basically uh, like generally as I told you opportunity goes with the stages and all I mean uh, different stages so the same opportunity screen what what marketing people should be able to see is different than for sales people and for them than for support people who are in service support so Salesforce comes up with the standard three layouts uh, apart from the apart from opportunity layout which is actually a kind of one base layout for every object yeah apart from that for opportunity they provides three things additionally but its assignments is not done if you see the record type for opportunity there are no record types see if you see the opportunity record type there are no record type so any page layout without record type assignment to it is of no value I mean it's like it's lying there in a system but it will not be used you know it, it will never be connected with cycle okay so this is actually the page layout the best example this is the page layout but it is not associated with a separate record type so when you even though the multiple layouts or screen uh, exist if you go on clicking new opportunity what will happen you are directly redirect to here this this screen why because because your opportunity does not have a record type standard record type okay it, it just just have a one if you don't see any record type here for any object that means it just has a standard record type called master record type how to see that if you click on new yeah here you will have to define it I'll I'll show you for contracts maybe record types where is that yeah if I click on new what we have is record type new creating a new record type so it always shows existing record type now that we created legal and business so those will also be here but had we not create legal and business it would have shown just this as a master because this is the default one for everyone so this record type is already attached with the standard one layout so here also in opportunity if you see page layout assignment these are all the page layouts but you will see this is only the working page layout how to see that go to page layout assignment okay and see all these are the profiles meaning there will be every user will have at least one profile out of these okay so say for example I am system administrator in this system so I have got system administrator profile and they have provided what one page layout for opportunity which one opportunity layout for me getting it so I will always see opportunity layout and there are no other uh, record types had I created uh, multiple record types it would have been multiple columns just like on a contract we did right if you see on contracts I'm just showing you comparatively so that you understand it very clearly Oh, record type assignment page layout assignment yeah see this is actually master so if you don't create any other so you will see this way on opportunity sorry this way right it, it is written page layout which page layout it is just because in that column header it is not showing you record type name because by default it is master one okay 
so but if you create multiple record types it will show you this way it will be replaced as like multiple record types because see this record types so it will be by default master as first and then business and legal I mean whatever you create those many columns will appear here and you will do what for these record types you will go to that particular profile and you can see you can assign like say for example for master one if you create new record type one more thing if you create new record type the master ones will be neglected you will never be from that drop down you will never be able to select master you will always be able to select one of these multiple record types what you create okay so any any layout assigned to this one is of no use for us now as we have new ones and then here it matters how do you assign to which record type to which screen to assign whatever you assign uh, on clicking on that pick list of record type selection then respective screen meaning here for system administrator for business what is their business contact contract and for legal uh, record type screen is legal contract so this is what will appear on screen if you go so that is what we have seen yesterday on contracts if you click on new if I select legal record type see available contract record type all will appear here for your information and generally you can put a description here so that for the user it will be helpful and handy okay generally it happens like for employees uh, seeing employee details the HR should see the payroll related and the admin people should not see his payroll related fields so in that case you can write uh, record types that HR for HR employee HR employee admin data and for HR you write a description this is only for a HR users to see for admin this is only for admin users to see and then those respective screens you you drag and drop the rela relevant contents so this way even though in the backend object all the data like payroll and administration all the data will be existing in a system uh, in a single record itself but it will be bifurcated depending on who sees it which user okay so bifurcated on a screen but system administrator who is able to query the database can fetch all the data so see legal so this is actually the legal screen right that legal contract legal this one so this is how it goes apart from that what happens is uh, record types if you click on business record type you see something else right we just created yesterday the record type but if you click on that created record type what you see is its information plus pick list available for editing so when you define a record type you also have a kind of pick list field now you are aware of the pick list field right we created yesterday one contract type which is a drop down field with multiple values and status is the standard field available here on contract object so these are the total as of today's date these are the two pick list field exist on contract object what it provides is pick list value for editing meaning for different for different uh, people or for different record type generally different record type are meant to be used by different types of people right on the same object so for those different people definitely uh, the kind of drop down values may not be relevant say for example on con say for example you have put a status you have put 10 status value because for salesperson probably uh, the, it has to go through the 10 statuses okay contract has to go through 10 different statuses but for service people there are three more status which are not to be used by salesperson okay so what you will do you will define a contract status field with 13 total values here okay and on creation of record type you will create a record type uh, say for 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 HR people and for admin people sorry for sales people and for service people so for sales people you will show you will edit this pick list and out of those 13 values will appear here in available values you will just select those 10 here okay which are relevant for those sales ones and 
uh, and for service ones you will go to another record type right just like we have taken a business and uh, business and uh, legal example now i'm explaining you the service and sales uh, users example right so you will go back again onto the service people's record type and again you edit the status pick list out of those 13 available value you select the three relevant values here so what will happen this is the background setting you did so say for example i am a service representative and you probably uday or uday probably you are a sales representative so when you log in with your credentials you your profile has already assigned the sales uh, sales record type for opportunity suppose so in that case when you go to opportunity screen you will see on status those 10 values okay suppose 1 to 10 and if i am a service representative i am logging in and i am going on opportunity what i will see in status those three values 11 12 13 okay but in a backend that status pick list will still have when you go to fields that status pick list will still have 13 total values available but on screen relevant values only will be displayed to the users so this is pick list bifurcation is available um, the provided functionality on salesforce uh, apart from that say for example if uh, there is a custom scenario like if you don't define this custom uh, pick list field here and if you want to define that on a visual force like when you uh, prepare your custom user interface so there if you want to do this functionality without without uh, having that on a field you have to write a custom code that yes if logged in user is a salesperson show these 10 fields or 10 values if logged in person is a service user then show this one these three values so that is how we go for the respective custom part but custom part gets complicated it is never recommended to have custom one for these solutions basically for place layout contract uh, record types and field uh, pick list values it is always recommended to use the configuration so this is how it is about uh, record type and its pick list okay